choir singers. Hi, partner school choir singers. Some of you have seen me before. I'm your poet. I'm the one that wrote the words to the hand washing song. Partner schools asked me to write it, and then they would give the poem to a composer, Robert Nelson, who calls himself the soap troll, and then you would sing it. And as I said before, a song is not real until someone sings it. So I thought it might help you as you're making your videos if I just came and read you the poem itself. The first thing that happened was the poem itself. Now, when I wrote it, I pretended I was a kid. And I realized when I pretended I was a kid how confused kids must be about this virus because adults don't tell us too much about it, right? Part of it is they don't understand a lot about it either. They are, we, they, I'm a kid now, aren't we? We are scared and they're a little scared and they're trying to explain it and we can't understand it, which is terrible, right? You're scared and you don't know why precisely. So that's what I wrote this poem about. I brought some props. The poem says, food from a can. Haven't you had a lot of dinners that came from this? Oh, soap, of course. You have to have soap, and this soap, you can tell this soap has been worn down by me washing my hands. Kleenex for wiping your nose. Toilet paper, of course. Remember when the grocery stores didn't have any toilet paper in them? And then lots of you are going to school, but you have to go to school on a screen. And uh, that's hard. That's not as much fun as having somebody in front of you and friends all around. So I wrote this poem just for kids. And remember, I'm gonna read it to you now, but you gotta remember, I'm a kid. While I'm writing this poem, you pretend I'm a kid, okay? Here we go. We kids need to know why we have to stay home. And all of our friends have to stay home too. Would somebody tell us exactly what's wrong? We're all sick and tired of food from a can, of sisters or brothers and school on a screen, but mainly we're tired of washing our hands. Washing our hands and counting to 20, and washing our hands, and washing our hands, and washing, and washing, and washing our hands. None of us knows why some curve should be flat. Exponential, what? Why we can't touch our face? Why toilet paper's gone? How long will this last? A good explanation would go a long way. Like, how does a virus that doesn't have legs go to parts of the earth that I'll never go to? We're anxious because the adults are all scared. Scared of a droplet and scared of the air and no one says why and some people die washing our hands and counting to 20 and washing our hands, washing our hands and washing and washing and washing our hands. And what about preschool kids? They're anxious too. They don't know the difference in atoms and molecules. How can they know what's a virus at all? They don't know a microscope. They haven't seen cells of bacteria, fungi, and such, but they know something tiny is creeping about. Ugh, washing our hands and counting to 20 and washing our hands and washing our hands and washing and washing and washing our hands. We're hearing new words that none of us knows. Global pandemic, COVID-19, it can hijack your cells, so shelter in place since no definitions are coming from you, we kids will go on in the way all kids do. We're sneezing 
in elbows and wiping our noses. We keep social distance six feet at least and counting to 20 and washing our hands all over the world. Kids washing their hands, washing our hands and counting to 20 and washing our hands and washing our hands and washing and washing and washing our hands. It's all we can do, but it gives us some hope. Oh, what will we do when earth runs out of soap? <laughs>